Hey guys, Duke 200 here, and today I'm going to be showing off our Green Star Line Shipyard. Here, we're going to start off with the SS Paris by one of our top builders, Arcam2012. You all might know him because he was in my latest Titanic 2016 film, which we will be visiting the Titanic soon. But um, I'm just going to go around the Paris so you can get a good glimpse of what it looks like. I'm about to pass by the nameplate here. <clears throat> yep, it's basically a full rendition of the SS Normandy, but in our own Green Star Line fashion. So it's going to be more luxurious, more fashionable, look spectacular, as you will see from other ships that we will look at today. So I'm coming around here by the stern. By the way, this was pre-recorded, so I'm just kind of voicing over it. <laughs> um, but yeah, right here we have the aft pools. Sorry, I'm letting it load in for a moment. 1.9 is just... It, it hates rendering stuff for you. So, uh... <clears throat> right here we have the stern, which is very nicely shaped out. I'm very proud of how Ark did this. He really showed off his skills. Especially with the French flag and all the deck chair placements. And now if we fly across the channel, we can reach the other dry docks. Which would be mine, Ginger Jasmine 56's, and North 300. Right here we have the Green Star Line docks. Or Green Star docks. These are the Green Star Tugs, which were made by North 300, and they were so cute, I had to add them in to the video. <laughs> okay, so right here is my dock, and it's kind of empty at the moment, because I've been working on the Titanic over in Southampton, which we will go and look at. So those of you who really want to go do that, there should be an annotation on the screen any minute now that says where to go. So right here we have the Grand Staircase, which is the original model that I used for the Titanic. And also we have the funnel, which this is the original base funnel. No changes. Right here we have the Empress of Ireland by North 300. And in fact, I think I just saw him in there. Uh, loading in. Uh, I think he left. He might have went up the stairs. Oh, well. We will just continue our little look around. We just load a little bit of this in. Yeah, I'm just going to go outside now. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go by the grand staircase and some of the rooms. And show off the front, which would be... Oh, there he is. There's North. Yeah, he's up there on the bridge. Well, uh, I don't even know what it's called. The navigation deck. There we go. And as you can see, some of the interiors from that little brief cut, because of the renders, that was the first class library. And next is the RMS Lusitania by Ginger Jasmine 56. It's pretty good. It looks great. I think she did a really good job on it. We just kind of load some of this in. I had to help her a little bit with some of the superstructure and whatnot, but I still think she did a really good job at it. Now I'm going to do a quick cut, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I just asked permission to go inside of the ship by Ginger Jasmine, and she said, sure, why not? So we're going to head inside here from the Grand Staircase, which she did an excellent job on. It was it's pretty nice compared to the original. She has almost every detail in. Still a few things missing, but oh well. It's really small stuff that no one will really notice unless you're like extremely good with interiors on the Lusitania. So yeah, we're going to continue on to the lounge here. And oh, there's Ginger right now. Uh, I think she's moving stuff up for the lounge. Hi, Ginger. This is our little secret code of crouching and punching. Usually works. Okay, so I'm gonna. Oh god, doors. Why are there so many doors? 
Um, I'm just going to head outside and we're going to show off the rest of the exterior and hopefully head over to the next ship, which is the Armus Gigantic. This one's also by Arkham 2012 because he loves to make ships. Like, absolutely loves to. So, yeah, there's some interiors right there. Some of the first class cabins, some private suites. I think a dining room shown in there. Not really sure. Um, yeah. We're just going to go back around here and load some more things in. Hopefully show off the bow. Probably not because of the rendering. Uh, yeah, here's the bow. You can see the nameplate down there, which is the gold compared to the cyan. And, ooh, I really like that anchor. So, he told us into it we couldn't really go inside, but from this little cut, you can see parts of the interior, like the smoking room and some of the first class staterooms. I think right there is the grand staircase and more stuff. And give me a second while I warp to the Titanic, which is what most of you are probably here for. <laughs> this is the Titanic, uh, as you can see from the, the well forecastle. Uh, God, loading in chunks. Yeah, there's the bow built by North 300, because that day I was having this huge creative block, and I was like, oh, I can't even think of how to start this. So I just asked him if he could help, and he's like, oh yeah, sure, I'll, I'll help with it. And this is what came out of it. It looks great. He did a, he does an excellent job at it. I am so happy with how this turned out. Not just the bow, but like the interiors. Everything looks beautiful. This is probably like the best Titanic I've ever made, and probably most of you have ever seen it on YouTube. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm still loading things in. So we're going to head up here to Upper Decks to load more things in. And then hopefully we're going to start on the interior. Ooh, just break that. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Well, right here you can see some of the interior crew cabins. But we're going to go inside and look at them a little bit. There's the Marconi room. More little gaps that we haven't really done yet, but actually, since this is pre recorded, now, because this is technically it's two days after I recorded this, there is now interior on all the forward rooms that have been seen, that have just been shown, which is D, C, B, A, and Botech. All those are now done within the span of two days, which I'm really happy about. Uh, well, I, just saw the I showed off the grand staircase, so right here is the ladies' reading writing room. <clears throat> it's very nice. I used only Titanic Honor and Glory photos, and some black and white photos. Not really. Because <laughs> Honor and Glory is like the main base of the ship. It's, it's what drives it. And right here we have the first class lounge, which is by far my favorite room on the ship. Just because of how much detail I added into it. So we're going to head back to the aft staircase here. Uh, right here's the pantry, which is now done. I promise it's done. <laughs> About to start in the B-deck pantry as well. Uh, right here's the aft grand staircase. This looks pretty good. And we're going to head over here to the smoking room. Oh, sorry. Just yawned. <clears throat> Yes, it's pretty good. I don't know why there's a skull there. Oh, I do. Yeah, it's because I was using a head. Uh, well, right here is the Veranda Cafe. Veranda Palm Court ca ca Cafe. Yeah. Sorry, I'm like really tired. I just woke up. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's actually technically the most accurate Palm Court Cafe on any Titanic in the world at the moment. Because... No one went in that much detail. Like, I went on every photo. I did every tiny detail I could see onto the real thing. Uh, here we have the African staircase again. And as you can see, the Sherub is actually holding the torch to its right. Which is how it's supposed to be. And on the 
forward one it's to its left. So right here we have the Café Parisien, which is the French cafe restaurant that's supposed to be like a French boardwalk. And over here we have the A la carte restaurant, which is another French restaurant on the Titanic. This was privately owned by the A la carte restaurant business. I don't really know. <laughs> Again, that's probably one of my favorite restaurants on the on the ship, the a la carte or Cafe Parisien, whichever one. So now we're going to head over here to the dining room and reception room, which are, again, one of my favorites, because they look really good. Not like the best, but they, they look okay. They look okay to my standards, which are pretty high. <laughs> oh, gosh, I just realized all the flowers that were on the tables are gone. Gotta go fix that. So, as you can see, uh, the grand staircase is in here, blah, 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 flooring's correct. Even the ceiling, like, design is correct. It's like a weird flower pattern. If you can look up there. See, it's just, it, it's so nice. So now we're going to head up here to C-Deck, which, ooh. oh, I thought that was a loading chunk for a moment. Oh, gosh. Oh. I'm so sorry. I gotta look, fix that. Sorry, there we have the purse's office. Or, no, this is the inquiry office. I'm sorry. The purse's office would be right next to it. Um, there's right there's a telephone box or something. I, I don't know. It's too early for this. Uh, here we have the suite of John Jacob Astor and his wife Madeline Astor. Again, this is exactly how it should look. And here we have the next room which is supposed to be combined to them. They also get this room and the private bath which is through those doors. Not that one, the other one. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Actually on here. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna head back upstairs. And No, wait. Hold on, I need to show off the B-Deck stuff. Here's the private parlor suite which was where? Jack and Rose, all that, the movie. Yeah, this is that room. It's not like the movie, because the movie was kind of inaccurate with portraying what the room actually looked like. This is what it should look like. And yeah, got the private promenade and such. So we're going to go out here to the main boarding area, which, so I can show off the exterior, if it'll let me. But yeah. Also, if you haven't seen the film, the funnels do in fact light up to be the correct lighting effects that were on the real ship, which I got from Honor and Glory when they did the uh, ship sinking in real time video. I kind of just noticed the funnels were all lit up in a specific way, and there is rain sound for some reason. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, um, you're just kind of showing off the hull here that North did, which is excellent. He did superb on it. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe how good it is. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I was warping somewhere and stuff happened. So, right now we're going to go. We're going to go and show off one of the sets from the Titanic film. And it's writing. Yep. So, I'm trying to just kind of find it here, because the rendering is, again, really bad. <laughs> Damn it, 1.8, not 8, 9, 1.9, I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm so out of it. <laughs> uh, so, we're trying to look for a lifeboat here, which was the main lifeboat featured in the film, which is this one right here. Lifeboat number 6, I do believe. We used our own creativity to actually put like the oars and everything in position. And it's starting to lightning. It's not good. So if I head over here, <sighs> I should reach the Carpathia, which is somewhere. Where is it? Where's there? It is. Yeah, right here. This is the RMS Carpathia, which is actually made off of um, North 300's old ship, the 
RMS Duchess. He was still working on it at the time and while we were filming, and it looked about this, the correct length and width and everything, so I was like, hey, can I just borrow that? And he's like, oh yeah, sure, sure. So, yeah. And as you can see, there was like a green and white carpet there on the ground. <laughs> That's a little blooper feature that was in the film. Yeah. If you look closely at the Carpathia scene, you could see ZBLDS and dead koalas in the background because... <sighs> If you guys don't know that episode, go watch Titanic Inspectors. It's really funny. Basically, he burnt the smoking room down, along with the funnel, and the rest of the Titanic, because the one flooring was bright green and white. So we're here around the wreck of Titanic, which, again, was made by North 300. He does a lot of stuff on the server. <laughs> and, ooh, I did not know he took this grand staircase out, but... It's really cool that he did. That's a new little feature that he's actually making the wreck. Huh. Nice. So, yeah, that looks really cool. <sighs> so, now I'm gonna warp somewhere really quick. Give me like one second. And now we're at our city. Me and Ginger Jasmine 56's little town looks pretty good we have, here we have the cemetery this is all 100% based off of actual buildings and such if you go on her channel you'll see a bunch of videos that are coming up that are in based in this town and yeah we all have like apartment complexes that we live in blah 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 when we're not working on ships we just kinda come here and relax really because this is meant to be like a chill space. Yeah. And up there is Ark's apartment. Right here is Ginger's apartment. If you can load it in. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you can just barely see it right there. The brick one. The It's like a duplex. So the one on the right is Ginger's. And the one right here, this huge brick one right here with the sandstone, that's mine. Which, I'm not showing that off, because it's too it's too beautiful to be shown off. I'm sorry. <laughs> and yeah, this is basically all we have so far, which is just Jasmine Lane, Church Street, Ark Street, and Green Star Street. Like a bunch of weirdly named streets. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> uh, right here we have the Green Star Line... Uh, apart not com apartment complex business complex I don't really know how to explain it just kind of think of like the World Trade Centers but like miniaturized I'm sorry for that cut um, right here, we're just going to go over, and I inserted a picture of the headquarters, because I'm just too lazy to load all that in. So annoying. Um, right here, we have the bridge over, and I think that's it. No, 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 no. Wait, I know what you guys really want to see. The Queen Victoria 2, which is going to be in the newest Chronos Contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all know it. Probably not. Oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, we have entered one of our ships into the latest Kronos Darth contests. It's the Queen Victoria 2. It's right next to that one, which is my ship, the Liberty of the Seas, which is on Planet Minecraft. Go check it out. Hey. And I'm only going to show off the bow of this, because we don't want to give too much of a spoiler. We want to get let you guys have a little chance to you know, get surprised by some of the stuff. But you can see some of the interiors there, which are just crew spaces. Can't see any first class stuff. Nope. Okay, maybe you can. Not really first class. I don't even know what kind of class would go on a cruise ship. Which is what this is. It's basically a cruise ship. And it looks really cool. I love what Ark did with the bow. 
Arkham 200, Arkham 2012, I'm sorry, made the bow there, he made all the superstructure, he basically started the project, and me and North helped finish it. Helped him finish it. I'm sorry. And so now, this is one of the best projects. So I hope you guys will like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all later.